The possible goal of testing it in the air can be deduced from the anonymous crew member's comment to author and B-36 expert Don Pyatt, quote, a real, fully functional bomb that used lead for the core instead of plutonium. Without a real bomb, the support systems could not be tested. There were some dummy bombs made of concrete that were used for load testing, but we weren't carrying one of those. This mission was to be as real as it gets, short of war. Reaffirming the claims of his statement, the military has said that the bomb contained lead, uranium, and TNT, but lacked the plutonium core. It's been assumed that there was no real core on board the B-36, but such an assessment could not be confirmed without physical evidence. The intention of the flight in 1950 was to perfect operational procedures, and it was denominated as a, quote, developmental flight. The path intended for the Convair B-36 flight was to fly west over the Pacific Ocean from southeast Alaska, passing over British Columbia, then to shift inland, passing over Washington State. The plan was to then have the aircraft climb to 40,000 feet to simulate a bomb run over San Francisco, where all the tasks needed to bomb the city would supposedly be completed, except for actually bombing it. After the simulation, the plane would land at Carswell Air Force Base in Fort Worth, Texas. However, the plane never made it beyond Alaska. Upon takeoff, ice began building up on the airplane's exterior, adding to the difficulty of piloting it under the terrible winter weather conditions. The captain turned the engines to full power in order to keep the aircraft flying. The unnamed crew member recalled the moment in his interview with Don Pyatt, quote, flight engineers started reporting problems with the fuel mixtures in the engines. It was starting to run full rich. Any attempt to lean them above idle cutoff would fail. We then started experiencing multiple failures and none of them could be corrected. Then when the fires started in the engines, we knew we had to make plans for leaving the aircraft. Three engines, half of the six that powered the aircraft, were on fire. Captain Harold L. Barry recalled the last few minutes on the B-36 when speaking to the Air Force Board of Inquiry, stating, quote, The engineer gave me emergency power to try to hold our altitude. We still descended quite rapidly, and by the time we got over land, we were at 5,000 feet. So I rang the alarm bell and told them to leave. In order to protect American nuclear secrets, the crew first jettisoned the Mark IV bomb, setting a timer to detonate it in midair, armed with only a lead core. Some of the crew members reported seeing it explode in the air, 